so let's see what is kubernetes auto scaling or kubernetes horizontal pod auto scalers uh, so this allows you to automatically scale pods as needed based on what is your resource utilization right now so uh, it basically hooks into the current deployment or replica sets and or a replication controller as you may call and it, it uh, it queries periodically queries the CPU utilization to find out how much CPU each pod is utilizing, and uh, depend depending on what constraints that you have defined, it will scale up new pods or scale down the pods, and it uses Hipster to collect CPU utilization. And uh, if, uh, to read more about what auto scaling or horizontal pod auto scalers are. Yeah, you can go to kubernetes.io and there are some docs where you can see what it actually does and what all other things it has. So let's see the demo. So, and the demo script. So I have created a namespace called demos just for the sake of <coughs> the sake of separation. Uh, here I am creating a PHP based application which has resource constraints like each pod will have which will request a CPU of CPU of 500 milli CPUs so uh, 500 milli CPUs is like half of the core that you have for that node and the memory requested is 500 megabytes and so with this command, it will also create a service which will be exposed as port 80. So here you can see PHP, service PHP Apache and deployment PHP Apache has been created. So let's see what the deployment here. Yeah, here you can see the PHP Apache deployment is created. It has currently one pod, uh, currently one pod desired and it's running, it's available basically. And the service that was created is exposed on this cluster IP and port 80. And the pod that have been created, as you, as you can see, it's, it's ready and running. So let's, yeah, so all these events happen uh, when we ra ran that first command. Uh, it, it pulled this, uh, pull, pull, pull this, uh, image from uh, gcr.io uh, created docker container uh, which which we see as a pod here and it has been scaled to one basically so let's see if it's really accessible from inside the cluster we'll do a uh, we are running a fedora based container and from there i'll i'll call on the on the php apache can Apache pod. So you can see it has responded as OK. That means it's successfully running and responding as well. Now that it's running, let's create a horizontal pod autoscaler. So basically, it will it will attach to the deployment uh, PHP Apache, and if your CPU percent goes 50% beyond 50% it will auto scale it will it will scale up basically and the minimum number of pods is 1 and the maximum number of pods is 10 so so depending on the load it will do some calculations do an average like cpu percent will be all the, any anywhere cpu any pod cpu percent goes above 50% it will scale up so to simulate this thing let's increase the load on that uh, on that php apache pod so here i have created the same old uh, fedora fedora pod and there i'll be continuously doing a call on that service so in this way it will uh, it will get more traffic and and accordingly it will it will scale up so right now this is the state you see kubectl uh, kubectl get hpa this is the horizontal pod auto scaler currently the tar uh, the target is 50% current it's so 0% because it takes some time to to get info to get the 
current usage information from all the pods uh, it is targeting to. Uh, here down here in the in the middle you can see the deployment. Its desired state is one. It's it's the same as previous thing. And here are the currently running pods. Like there is only one pod that is running right now. So until this current uh, current you current uh, load doesn't update there won't be any activity uh, going on once this cur current load is like updated uh, if it finds out that the uh, that the pod is being pod is being overloaded and then it will start other pods and start servicing so here you can see it has changed to 375 percent and down below it created uh, it, it, it created these two and uh, it, it, it spawned up two pods simultaneously. Also, this desired, uh, desired went from one to three. And currently, there is only one available because those are not created yet. Once, once these become running, then this available will increment. So this has these these two pods are running right now now like you saw and this available has turned to three. So this this load can uh, will go down the, uh, the the formula will like calculate again what is the current load and this value can go will go down. Also depending on what the current uh, what current nodes uh, if they have the required uh, required resources then only. Uh, then only it will work actually. So, so the same thing we can also see in the dashboard. So let me refresh this. So in the dashboard, it shows this deployments PHP Apache, which is our uh, web server, and this is the uh, this is the uh, this is acting as the load, which which is creating the load service test. Uh, you can see everything here what replica sets are what are the ports that are running what is the cpu core they are utilizing uh, you can see these are the recent recently created ports their in their cpu utilization has not been updated because uh, because they are pretty new uh, it takes some time to get their cpu utilization yeah now you can see their cpu utilization has been updated and memory how much uh, memory they are using you can also see the logs from, from by clicking here <coughs> see it's responding to this curl requests and you, let's see what other how many requests they have served they have also served pretty much a large amount of requests and the service test is running to its fullest it's it's okay So basically from here you can see the whole thing that is going on right now uh, this is what it is doing <laughs> it's doing curl on the on the service basically so yeah that's about the horizontal pod autoscaler to read more about it go to kubernetes.io so thanks for watching